Well, DC Everest is celebrating one of their own ahead of a movie debut. Skylar Whitty's alma mater is, uh, alma mater, I should say, is airing a special hometown premiere in her first starring role as an actress. Can you imagine? Very exciting news. Nine's Alicia Gaffney spoke with her. Now she makes us Wisconsin proud. Alicia? Yes, Brad and Melissa. Skylar Whitty, a Schofield native, has been in movies before, but this is her first time in the leading role. The movie premiering in theaters tomorrow, but her success did not happen overnight. But we're keeping a man from his wife! You don't come with me right now, a whole lot of innocent folks are gonna die. Skylar Whitty is Jocelyn Miller Callahan in the upcoming film Last Shootout, her first feature film and lead role. Overwhelmed with gratitude. You know, so grateful that I even had the opportunity in the first place. In the film, Whitty acts next to stars like Michael Wells and Cam Gigande from Twilight, along with award winner Brian Kern, but it was at DC Everest where she got her start. I have been involved in theater my entire life, and at DC Everest, I was on the dance team. We actually won state my senior year, which is pretty exciting, and then was involved in the theater program at DC Everest as well as the choir program. After she graduated from DC Everest, Witty set her sights on becoming a lawyer, enrolling at UW-Madison, and leaving behind her years in theater. In her sophomore year, she was crowned Miss Wisconsin, and at competition for Miss USA in 2017, she realized a life in production was real. And I was enamored. I had always kind of thought of that as a dream, but I think throughout my life kind of pushed it down, like what's realistic? And I realized production and working in entertainment is very realistic. She packed her car after graduating with a communications degree and took a chance on her dream. Tuesday morning, I got a phone call. It was a very quick phone call. You know, we'll, we'll be sending you the script soon, congratulations. I was in my pajamas still, because it was pretty early in the morning, and I immediately called my dad. <laughs> And I was in tears before I even started speaking. Even with all the success, she is not a stranger to rejection and says it was her Wisconsin roots that kept her going. Uh, which is really fun to now be back in Wausau, kind of at my alma mater, celebrating this really huge moment in my career. None of this would have been possible without the support that I've received right here in the state of Wisconsin. Woody says she's grateful for the for the support she got right here in central Wisconsin, and her success is making us Wisconsin proud. Live in the newsroom, Alicia Gaffney, News 9, WAOW.